Trey, welcome to Seattle. So far, some limited time with the team, but what have what has everything gone like compared to your expectations? Man, it's it's a, it's a family culture. You know, uh, I thought, you know, coming in as a rookie, sometimes, you know, you feel out of place. And uh, I know like day one, day two, I felt like I've been here for a while. So man, it's just, it's lovely out here, man. I love the culture out here. You wanted to know when you first landed in Seattle, best hibachi place. Is that your favorite food? Like what is your go-to meal? Yeah, I can. I could eat a hibachi every day. See what I what I get is the, the the chicken and shrimp, and I'm a rice head. You know, you you can't go wrong with that. It's like it's like it's it's in a sense to me. I feel like it's it's a healthy way to eat. I really wanted to ask you what wide receiver you wanted to go up against in the NFL, but you answered that question for us on your pro day. <laughs> and it's, like you, it's like you told the hey, future because you. it's DK Metcalf. You have to come hard. You're gonna knock me down. You got to go up against him. You will get to go up against him a ton this season. Uh, what do you respect about him, and what do you what do you want to prove against? Him? Man, I, I respect I respect his game. I respect a lot about him. He's also he don't care who's up in front of him. You know, he he has like you know he talks that talk. He, he can back it up as well. So and I feel like I'm the same way. You know, and so I know he's gonna make me a whole lot better. We're gonna be competing. There's also another guy. I also, I've been thinking about like I've been you know just prepping myself up to go against Tyler Lockett. He's gonna jump it over the top. It's ball caught. Lockett makes we're from the same area you know we know a lot of people we know a lot of similar people his family know my family and stuff like that he's he's also good at his craft and uh, him and dk are very good but they're very different they're the best duo in the nfl i know you also talked about maybe lining it up with him and like racing have you guys talked about that texted about that is that gonna happen Nah, I talked to Coach Pete about that. He was like, nah, he's going to tell you, you got to work up in the ranks for that one. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just leave it alone. If it happens, it happens. For you, you always have that quickness advantage. What do you think about, what do you need to focus on when you're going up against a guy who's 6'3", 6'4", 6'5"? That's a great question, you know, because of the corner, if you think you get beat. So uh, I don't I don't necessarily think I just compete, you know, things happen, you know, uh, I'm going to go out there and give it my all. It's like I'm six foot three as well. You know, you're going to get some five, nine guy, a six, three guy, but I don't look at it like that. Outside of you're a hard worker, grinder, you're going to get your work done. What do you want 12 to know about Trey Brown? Put me on a spot right here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I want them to know about me. Um, you know that I'm I'm a I'm a fun guy. You know uh, I'm I'm loyal and I'm always looking out for those. And I'm I'm always gonna reach out to any 12 fan there is out there. You know anybody can come to me for anything. Love that. So 12s, if you see him in the grocery store, say hi to Trey Brown. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>